In game one of this series, the Jays' big bats came out and they were rewarded with a dominant effort from their starter in an 8-0 win. Last night, it was the defense that stole the show. Several gems in the field allowed the scrappy Jays to claw out an extra inning win, their fifth straight victory at home. Tonight, Dave Bush looks to keep the momentum going as the Jays look for the series sweep versus the Angels, next on Sportsnet. on Rogers Sportsnet. Just as many thought they would after struggling with the bottom feeders in the American League, getting a shot at some of the better teams, and the Jays have looked good early on in that stretch tonight. Game three of a set with the Los Angeles Angels. I'm Brad Fay in the Sportsnet Studios. As always, keeping you apprised of what's going on elsewhere. Twelve other games in the major leagues. We'll be keeping an eye on Baltimore and Texas. Sidney Ponsone perhaps making his final start of course, they had agreed to a trade to San Diego for Phil Nevin. Nevin blocked it, but Baltimore still interested in dealing Ponson. Perhaps it's thought to the Rangers. Five finals already in the major leagues, including uh, the New York Yankees. We'll have highlights of them and a little break for the Blue Jays tonight is Vladdy Guerrero. Not in the lineup, but Jamie Campbell and Pat Tabler are ready to go. This is an exciting time to be a Blue Jays fan. The team's just four and a half back of the division-leading Red Sox. They'll try and sweep the Angels tonight at the Rogers Center. Good evening, everyone. Jamie Campbell along with Pat Tabler. You know, it's like a hockey mentality around this baseball team, exemplified by Corey Koski and the bunch last night winning in extra innings. Well, he did a lot of things that were very key in last night's W. You know, a lot of people haven't been talking about the two out base hits that the Blue Jays got, but here's one of them. Right past the diving Darren Erstad that tied the ball game up, and then the defense was flashed, taking away a hit from Vladimir Guerrero, and then I thought the finest play in the ball game last night. Look how far he has to go to take away this hit from Sean Figgins, which was very important, and then, wouldn't you know it, he's at the plate right there when the winning run crosses. John Gibbons couldn't be happier to have Koski back. You get him back, he, even uh, even his time is a little off now, but you know when uh, when he gets that going, he, he's, he's going to be a big help to us. And, you, know, you look at some of the plays he made last night, especially that foul ball down the left field line, you know, that just shows what he's capable of, but you know, it kind of gave us that big big boost, and, you know, it just shows what kind of player he is. You know, he lays his body on the line every night, and that's one of the reasons he got injured. So it's late July. The Blue Jays, though just two games over 500, just four and a half back of the division leading Red Sox. Yeah, four and a half back and just three and a half back in the wild card. I know we can start talking about that now. And a lot of people have been talking about, you know what, they haven't had one of those streaks where they win 13 out of 16, 14 out of 17, which they are looking for. And if they do, they're going to get really close. The Los Angeles Angels want to get back on track because they know they've got the A's crawling right up their rear. Here they come. They've gained four games in the last eight days. The Oakland A's over the Los Angeles Angels, but they'll have their shot at them here in the next two months. The Angels play the A's ten more times. Dave Bush and John Lackey are ready to go. It's the Blue Jays against the Angels, and it's next on Rogers Sportsnet.